Hello friends. Welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now we are at uh, part 4 of the sub series reading the application configuration file. In this video series, I mean in this uh, specific video, we will see how to read configuration setting from updat config file. In video number 3 we already created the config file and the config file was ready in our solution in the previous video we also saw what happens when you build the application when you build the application while the builder deploys the exe it will deliver the config file also with the application.exe.config with this name it will deliver all right now we will go ahead and read the app settings so first we learned about the basics of application configuration then we talked about the example in the previous video we talked about the application configuration file sections like uh, app settings and the connection strings there are many other settings but here we took uh, two sections for exploration purpose so to use application configuration file we need to use classes we need to use classes in the system date configuration namespace so here we will provide the key name say for example key one then we will click on the application settings so once you do that uh, this will write the setting value in the multi line text box so remember this is the settings we want to read here we specified a key underscore one right that means uh, we specify this in the input box we specify the key and then we will read the value so using this key and value you can provide any application settings say for example if your application is generating some text content whether it needs to be written in a flat file or xml file or where you want to write that means say for example key is file format value at run time can be um, text file rtf file or excel file likewise the settings will be provided so application will read the settings based on the key then behave accordingly so here there is no meaning on this key and value but uh, here we are actually exploring how to read the application configuration file so even though this key and value pair is not meaningful uh, it's good uh, for the exploration purpose at least for this uh, sub series all right so application settings btn app settings click event in this a click event we make use of configuration manager the configuration manager class is from system.configuration namespace from here we make use of the collection this collection is nothing but a map app settings and we provide the key the key is coming from this uh, input field one whatever user provides we provide that and app setting is the key value pair or map collection once you provide the key the app settings will return you the value and return value we are storing it as a setting all right once that is done we check uh, setting is null if setting is null we specify setting not found that means user provided a wrong uh, value here so if they provide a key as uh, abc here in this input box for example there is no key associated to abc so it will return null and that's what we are checking here and we state setting not found 
all right so either we display setting not found or the valid setting that means the valid value which was read from the application configuration file so this setting we are giving it to the input uh, multiline text box i mean the string we are assigning it to the multiline text box that means here whatever we read from the application configuration file that will get displayed in the multiline text box all right so that's one part and the second part we will see how to read connection string that means user should click pups or north wind tick mark then they can click on the get connection string button and the connection string information will be displayed in this uh, multiline text box all right here is the btn con string so this is the name btn con string click event button click here we are making use of the class connection string settings so this is the class that comes from system dot configuration namespace and at this moment we are declaring this as null then we are initializing string as uh, empty in the initial stage next we make sure the checkbox chk pub is in checked state so since it is in checked state we want to read the connection string pubs so when it is true we will see configuration manager this time we are using a different collection so the collection name here is connection strings for the connection strings we supply the name we supply the name to read the connection string data so whatever connection string data read will get stored in the connection string settings we already declared this as setting underscore con str and we are assigning that here all right so setting con str once setting con str is in hand we are reading the connection string property of this connection string settings so connection string settings represents this specific information then this is one connection string and from there we are reading the connection string a specific information right after that we are appending a new line so connection string information will set onto the string con str so this is the case for pubs and if north wind is checked by the user before clicking this then we read north wind related information here we are reading pubs and here we are reading the north wind here is not doing right so similar piece of code here and if a connection string is empty that means user doesn't check pubs as well as hwind both the check boxes is in unchecked state so if that's the case we state specify either pubs or north wind or you can even specify both that's all then we display the connection string information to this uh, multi line uh, text box now it's demo time we will go to the demo and uh, implement this uh, code change so here is our uh, sample and uh, we already have app dot config we will uh, the name here is a uh, text key first uh, we will put the required namespace system dot configuration make sure system dot configuration is uh, included here if uh, system dot configuration is uh, not here you can go for add reference go for uh, dot net 
So you have to pick uh, system dot configuration for a specific dot net version. Here I am using Visual Studio 2005 for uh, easy portability so that uh, if user uses a 2008 or 2007 it will work for them when they uh, follow the examples all right so in your case if you are using the latter version of ide you will see a different or higher version number here so pick system dot configuration then click ok and you will be seeing the entry after that uh, you can use a system dot configuration in the using a statement So here we are reading the application related information code was already explained we will do a first round of check let me type key underscore one you can see value Key underscore three you can see value three here suppose if so it's not case sensitive suppose if I provide so since we don't find any setting we'll be printing a setting not found now we will get the connection string so since the code was already explained in the powerpoint slide we can directly test this piece of code so connection string setting you can see it's from system dot configuration then so you can read the represents a single named connection string in the connection string configuration file section all right so so connection string settings collection that's the type from the tooltip you can see so from this connection string settings collection we supply pubs since it's a collection if you want to read a specific entry you can supply the name here if you see the name is pubs and here the name is northwind so based on the check mark we read the pub setting and we will display that First we will add that in the string and then we will display that in the output field. Alright, now we will run this and when I click get connection string specify either pups or northwind if I specify pups. So it may be because either we have to provide full name, all right. So this is what generated by the properties in the previous video. We generated it right. So when we generated it, all right, we can modify this. It's just a name for simplicity reason. I'm just. Uh, so this fully qualified name is useful to avoid any conflict but uh, since here we are creating our own example and we know that the connection string won't conflict so pups and northwind both are unique so this is uh, sufficient all right now we will run this again
now we read the connection string and you can see we provided pups and we read the connection string information you can see that here all right now if i need both pups and north wind i can place check mark on both again we made a mistake okay we will uh, rerun this either we can make change in the configuration file or uh, we can make change here in the code window this time we will read north wind so you can see now it is uh, working all right in the next video we will add some new setting and based on that we will change the four color i mean four color of uh, this uh, multi line text box that's all here in this uh, video thank you for watching bye